So about four years ago, I had been talking to this girl for like months, right? And then all of a sudden, we basically stopped talking, right? She rejected me, whatever. It was this whole thing. I have the full story if you want to look up my embarrassing simp story. I think that was the name of the video. But it's I made it a few months ago. I tell the whole story. After that, however, I felt like I had nobody to talk to. Like that nobody understood what I was going through. I had nobody to open up to. I felt like how most men feel, basically. And I realized why I had felt this way, right? It was me the whole time. I had internalized problems that I wasn't ready to deal with. My problem at the time, I'll actually tell you, I was very desperate to get into a relationship. And to the point where I was just like very negative about day-to-day life. I was like, I'm not in a relationship, so life fucking sucks, basically, was my mentality. And once I realized that, I was like, damn, it sounds pretty fucking stupid when I say it out loud. That's why I can't open up to people, because I'm I'm just not ready to deal with <laughs> the problems that I have. I, either I'm too embarrassed, or I'm too this, or that. But eventually, I did deal with it, and I realized the problems have been me the whole time. It's not the people around me that I'm afraid to open up to. But that was just me at the time. My name is Nonda. And I've been through a lot in the past, like, two, three years on self-improvement. I've come a really long way. And now I just make YouTube videos and try to help people who are where I was at, basically. If I can, you know, accelerate your progress and job well done to me, you goddamn. But that's that, basically. That's my first introduction. I've never introduced myself on YouTube, but that's that. So you have nobody to open up to. The hard truth, the sad truth, the hard pill to swallow that nobody wants to admit, the very first step is to admit that it's you, is to recognize that it's your fault, to realize, holy shit, it's me. It's always been me the whole time. You can't deny this, right? Think about it. Just think about it for a second. If it's not you, then who the fuck is it? If it's not your fault, then where can you go from here? You can't go anywhere. You're, this is the dead end. If this is not your fault, if this is somebody else's fault, or some other reason that you're here, then you're fucked. But if you realize the truth, which is, it's your fault then you do have somewhere to go. You have a way forward, luckily. Now, that sounds harsh as fuck, right? You have nobody to open up to, nobody to talk to, but it's your fault at the same time. Don't take that and be negative. Don't be a little bitch about this, okay? Just recognize, yes, this is my fault. And we're going to dive into why. Why do you think? Are you a likable person? Like if you have nobody to open up to, okay, I had people to open up to. I just thought that I couldn't. I just felt that I couldn't. It was my own stupid fucking feeling, right, that prevented me from opening up to the people that I already had, right, to the relationships that I had already had in place with, you know, friends and shit, not like female relationships, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know, the butterfly effect. But it's your fault, right? How do you get to a point then where you have somebody you can open up to? Well, would you be friends with yourself? Let me just ask you that. Would you be friends with yourself? If you could clone your personality, put it into somebody else's body, would you be friends with that person? Like seriously, don't just say, oh yeah, of course. No, think about it because you might not want to be friends with yourself. You might be a fucking total loser. Like you might be very negative. You might be somebody who you don't even want to be around. So it's no fucking wonder why nobody else wants to be around you, right? Think about it. It's common sense. I'm an amazing friend. If I could clone my body, not my body, if I could clone my personality into somebody else's body, I would be best fucking friends with that person, right? But that's just me. You should be somewhere in that vicinity. You should be like that. Maybe you're compatible with another personality type. I don't know. Fucking, I don't know the gay specifics of personality types, but you know what I'm saying, right? It's the same thing if you're single, 
think about yourself as a man, right? Are you somebody that women want to date? If you were a woman, would you date yourself? Or would you want your daughter to date you? I don't mean you. You know what I fucking mean, right? <laughs> would you date your daughter? No, dumbass. You know what I mean. Would you be friends with yourself? The answer is probably no. But that's good because then you have somewhere to go. The answer is yes and you it's you. Like You have people to open up to. Okay, if you would be friends with yourself and you're a nice person and all that, dude, go out and make friends, dude. Go online, private communities. There's so many of them. You can meet friends fucking anywhere out in public. Go action step. If you have no friends, go buy a $10 Planet Fitness membership. Go when it's busy and fucking start talking to people. Lift weights. You see a guy. Hey, what's up, man? What are you hitting today? People are very receptive to being you know, approached like that, by the way. Oh, you want to hit a workout next week? It's that easy. It's that fucking, that easy. You're going to get rejected. Yeah, of course. Do the same thing with women. Ask them the same question. Let's get a workout together next week. You might get best friends and a fucking girlfriend by doing that. So just try it. But anyway, you see why you don't have friends. You don't have the balls to go and approach people. Like you're obviously not friend material. You're not somebody who other people want to be friends with. Like what do you have to offer other people? You have to think of this like from a sales perspective. If I have a business, if I'm selling a product and I want people to buy it, why the fuck would they buy it? Like what's the value here? What's the value in myself? Why? What would drive somebody else to be friends with me? Basically, think about it like this. When you put, when you kind of look at things in an incentive aspect, like why would somebody else want to do this or that? When you kind of open up and be a little more self-aware to who you are, you can figure these things out very quickly. So maybe you do have friends, but you feel like you can't open up to them. That's where I was, basically. All I had to realize was I can't open up to them. You can open up to these people and look, maybe they're going to stab you in the back. That's always, you know, that's always there. The possibility, of course. Maybe they're going to go and tell somebody else. Yeah, duh, of course. The, the threat is always there. Maybe they do. Maybe they actually do it. Maybe it's happened to you before. It's happened to me many times. Tell somebody something and it fucking blows up. I told, what the fuck happened, dude? And it was like middle school. And there was a rumor going around that I was gay. Because I told one of my friends, dude, I don't even remember what the fuck I told him. I I think it was like a gay joke or something. And he went around and told everybody. And and they walked up and were like, are you gay? I'm like, no, I'm not fucking, what the fuck? Now, do, do you think I fucking cried about it and got all upset? I actually was all upset. I was a little bitch at the time, but I got over it. If that happened to me now, if somebody walked up to me and was like, are you gay? I'd be like, no. I would walk and I would forget about it instantly. I wouldn't give a fuck. I could tell, I would tell one of my best friends right now my deepest fucking secret. And he could go broadcast it to the fucking world. I wouldn't care. It doesn't really change anything. Because once you realize other people don't really care at the end of the day. Like if it's a, if he's a good friend, right? If you have a good friend and you open up to him and he cares about your problems and all that, obviously he's not going to go and stab you in the back. But if you have somebody who does stab you in the back, first off, he probably didn't really care anyway. Everybody he told doesn't fucking care anyway, right? You might have a rumor going around the school. Whatever, you're going to leave in a few years. Who gives a shit? People are going to forget. Okay, like just deal with it. Be more mentally tough, right? That's another aspect of mental health be more mentally tough and you will also be more likable by being more mentally tough because then people can poke fun at you and you can poke fun at them and you can build relationships like men are supposed to where you fuck with each other and you push each other's buttons and you piss each other off you're missing out on these things because of your own resentment you resent society or women or other men because you weren't socialized enough growing up but it's your fault And we've already accepted, right, that it's our fault. So we know what we need to do. If you're really struggling, this is the last time I'm going to offer one-on-one coaching with mental health. You can click the top link in the description. I I know I could fucking help you, help the shit out of you. I have a whole fucking plan, right? It's easy. So just click that link if you want to book a free call with me, see what's up. And Discord, link in the description.